Hey everybody, it's Lisa Burningham and I am so glad that you are here with me. Today I am surrounded by three spring and Easter flower arrangements. I'm going to show you how to make these and then I'm going to show you how to display them as a centerpiece. The first centerpiece that I'm going to be doing today is this beautiful flower arrangement. It's cream and it's got some beautiful spring speckled eggs. I love using interesting containers for my flower arrangements, especially for seasonal decor. I don't want to go out and buy a new vase or container. I just don't want to spend the money. So I rummaged through my kitchen cabinets and I came across this beautiful soup tureen that I got at Dillard's a few years ago. I don't use it very often and I knew it would be the right size and the right color for this particular flower arrangement. Now you can get really creative with your containers. Last week I used a trifle bowl for a carrot flower arrangement. You can use a punch bowl or a water pitcher. Just look through your cabinets and see what you have because you might find a beautiful container. Now I filled the inside of my soup tureen with some floral foam and I tacked it together with some floral pins. And then I got some Dollar Tree moss and I spread that over the top of the foam and then I tacked it down with some more of those floral pins. Now most craft places have floral pins, however if you can't find some you can always use hot glue and that would work too. The cream color on the soup tureen was my inspiration to pick out my cream colored flowers. All of the flowers on this particular arrangement are either from Michaels or from Hobby Lobby. So what I did was I got the prominent flower that I wanted to see the very most and I placed it right into the center. And then I added the tall flowers towards the back in the center. And then I placed the shorter flowers to the sides and in the front until it formed a dome shape. Now I like to place my flowers in first because then I can get them all situated. And then afterwards I got my greenery, which again was from Michaels and Hobby Lobby and I placed it in between the flowers. Now, if we stopped at this point, this would be a beautiful flower arrangement for any season or party. However, we are going to theme this spring and Easter, so I'm going to add in some egg picks that I got at Michael's. The color on them is fantastic. It goes really well with the cream, and I love the little speckles on them, so I'll just spread those throughout the arrangement. The final piece is this cream and gold and burlap ribbon. I wanted to put a cute little bow on the side, so I cut each piece into a foot long segment. I made one loop in each of the ribbons and I got a piece of floral wire and I wrapped it around the ribbons. And then I got another floral pin and I put it right through the center of my bow and then I attached it right onto the floral foam on my centerpiece. To display this arrangement as a centerpiece, I'm going to add it to a large silver tray. I'm going to put some of those yarn carrots that we made last week around it and on top of the tray to add that extra little bit of spring and Easter. This cabbage flower arrangement is probably one of my favorite arrangements that I have ever done. I didn't even have to look for a container. All I had to do was decide if I wanted a purple cabbage or a green cabbage. For this spring flower arrangement, I needed one head of cabbage, various spring flowers, one cup, some rubber bands, and asparagus. The first thing that I did was I evened off the bottom of the cabbage. I did not want my cabbage to go rolling away with my flowers inside. So I got a knife and I trimmed the bottom of the cabbage so it was nice and flat and even. And then I chose a glass that would fit inside my cabbage. I traced out the top part of the glass right onto the top of the cabbage with a Sharpie. And then I took a knife and began to cut along the circular tracing. I made fairly deep cuts into the cabbage because I'm going to need a lot of space for my cup. I began peeling away the cabbage layers and then I took a spoon and began to hollow it out. Now, let me tell you, I felt like it was Halloween and I was carving a pumpkin 
It is so dense and thick at the core that I had cabbage just flying everywhere. I found some in my hair. So be prepared to roll up your sleeves and get to work when you're hollowing out your cabbage. Once I was finished coring out my cabbage, I put my cup inside. I just placed it in and I pressed it down so it was nice and secure. And then it was time to add my flowers. Now, these flowers are from my yard. I know you guys know that I live in Florida and I'm so lucky that I have flowers that bloom all year long so I can really take advantage of them. However, if you don't have flowers that you can just get from your yard, you can just go to your grocery store and pick some up there. They're not that expensive, especially because you'll only need a handful of them. So what I did with my flowers was I put them into bunches and then I got some rubber bands and I rubber band these stems together. I made about three or four different bunches. Doing it this way makes it really easy to put them in your cup for your flower arrangement because they're already just the way you want them to be. The colors are already where they need to be. The heights are already where they need to be. And then I did the same thing with my asparagus. I put three asparagus in each bunch and then I rubber band them together. And then I placed my flowers inside of the cup. First I added some water to the cup and then I placed in my flowers. I just put them in so they were nice and even and then I went back through and I put the asparagus, just tucked it inside of the flowers so it added extra height and I think it was fun and unique to add the asparagus because how many times do you see a flower arrangement with asparagus in it? Not very often. So it was a fun way to add a little extra bit of spring to this arrangement. One thing about this cabbage flower arrangement was that I made this several hours earlier and then it's just been sitting in the fridge. So if you're making this for a party, just know that you can make it earlier on the day and then put it in the fridge and then pop it out and it's still gonna look really great. Now, how pretty is this arrangement? I just love the way it came out and it was so easy to make. I can picture this on a big Easter buffet table right next to the fruit and veggies. Now, the way that I'm going to display this as a centerpiece is I'm going to put it on this glass plate and then I'm also going to add some pearlescent ceramic bunnies. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm Lisa. I do DIYs and home decor on my channel. I post weekly videos. I would love to have you join me, so please subscribe. The final spring centerpiece is this beautiful bird's nest flower arrangement. Now the container that I got is from the Dollar Tree and it is simply a basket liner. I'm going to fill it up with some floral foam and then I'm going to add some shredded paper to the top of the foam and then I'm gonna tack it all together with some floral pins. Again, if you don't have floral pins, you can just hot glue everything together. I wanted some bright white flowers for this flower arrangement. I wanted them to pop against the brown container and the wreath that was down below. Now all of my flowers and greenery are from the Dollar Tree. So what I did was I took my stems and I trimmed them into little segments. I had some hydrangeas and I kept a lot of the stems long and then I also trimmed some that were a little bit shorter. And then I began to add my flowers to my foam. I started in the back with my tallest flowers and then I worked my way forward and I added the flowers to the side and to the front that were a little bit shorter until I had a dome shape. Next I added in my greenery in between the flowers. When you add the greenery up against the white flowers it really makes those flowers pop so if there were any vacant spaces I put some greenery in there. I wanted to add something bright and springy to this arrangement and I found these speckled eggs, these turquoise and blue speckled eggs at Ross. They were only $3.99 for a set of nine. So what I did was I got some wooden skewers and I poked them through the center of the egg. And the eggs were just styrofoam so the sticks went right in. And then I trimmed a few of the sticks so I could have a variation in height. 
And I think that the color on these is a great accent, but I wanted a little bit more color to it as well. So I decided to add a few turquoise and blue ribbons. So I got some ribbons and I cut them into some segments. I placed one ribbon on top of the other and then I tied it into a bow. And then I took that bow and I got some hot glue and I hot glued it right onto the stick so it had just that extra little bit of texture and brightness. Once my egg picks were finished, I placed them inside of my flower arrangement. And I love the extra pop of color that it brings and the extra little bit of spring. After I was finished, I took my container because it is a little more flimsy and I put it inside of this grapevine wreath that I got from Michaels. Now this wreath is gonna do double duty. It's going to keep my container in place. It's kind of flimsy and I don't want it to roll away. We don't want to run away centerpiece. But also it looks like a nest, so it's going to keep the theme of a bird's nest arrangement. To display this arrangement as a centerpiece, I'm placing it on my table, and then I'm going to add two of those Mod Podge bunnies that we made last week for an extra bit of color and springtime flair. I really hope you enjoyed these three spring and Easter centerpiece ideas. You could display them in the center of your kitchen table, on an island, on a shelf, or even on a foyer table, anywhere that you want to add an extra touch of spring. Now I am really excited for next week because I am going to be doing those gnomes that I promised you about. It's spring, it's a new season, so it's time for a new gnome. Now I did my fall gnomes, my winter gnomes, and so now it's time for my spring gnome. So make sure that you check back next week so you can see what I created. Thank you so much for watching.